Hello everyone, thank you all for coming back to the channel and watching this video, I really appreciate it. It's because of y'all that I get to continue doing what I do. Right now, we're just waiting in the truck. We've got a rainstorm, like a little patch of bad weather uh, shifting through and hopefully within the next 45 minutes, it will have passed us and then we can launch. So stay tuned, we will be right back. So here we go everyone, making our way into the marshy style area. Welcome to Matagorda. If y'all notice that the mic goes in and out, uh, that's because I will be forced to remove it if the rain gets any harder than this. So let's get started. All right, let's try and drop this guy because I'll tell you what, push pulling, yeah, no dice. I'm going to need you guys to light a candle and roll the dice for me. Hopefully I'm going to get lucky and be able to pedal my way through this thing. All right, made it out to one of the main bayous and now we're in 1.1 feet of water. So that means we can draft through this stuff. But what I was going to say is we're going to put the PDL drive through the test because when we're in shallow water, I'm not going to want to do the push pull thing. So I'm going to scar up the mud. There we go, we got him. Yes. Okay, it's a beautiful little mud chicken right here. There we go. Oh, such a great looking little red. All right, my buddy. Let's see if we can catch his friend right over there. I don't want to go any further. Yeah. I knew eventually we were going to catch something. That's our donkey right there. And this is going to be the first one right here of the day. Finally, get away, <laughs> you little turds. Get over here, son. Oh, no. Get in here. No, my gosh. There we go. Gosh, it's power pull down. I don't want to go any further. There we go. Gotcha. What you got to say for yourself? Getting stuck. Everybody's going to laugh at you. Oh my goodness, baby. We got you. I hear another one right up ahead. The problem is just trying to locate them inside this chocolate soup. It's not even chocolate milk. It's so thick and just muddy because of the rain. Look at that beautiful strawberry redfish. Perfect eyes. He doesn't have the crud <laughs> on the hoagies swimming jack. There we go. We're going to admire this fella and then send him on his way. Way to go, Mark. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm sorry, buddy. It's not your lucky day. Christian has got the, the bag, the ice bag. He wants to keep some fish. So you're going to be sacrificed. Let's make sure you are indeed a keeper. 22 and three quarters of an inch beautiful redfish right there first keeper of the day okay everyone here goes the second issue that i have with this predator pdl notice the placement of the rod holder it prevents my stroke on the right side as i'm push pulling and i'd imagine if you're paddling too so while push pulling you have to have some type of device holding your rod keeping it at the ready because the minute that i see a redfish I'm gonna power pull down or just continue drifting. It just depends on the situation. And then I need to clip my paddle to my waistline, grab the rod, make the cast. I can't be turning around trying to reach to my crate or the rear facing rod holders. I'm gonna have to figure something out to move that back there a little bit.
Oh, we got him. Immediately hooked up. Look at that. Look at that. On the hunchback. Yes. Oh, that is a good sized donkey right there. Oh my gosh. Redfish on the half shell. Here we come. Black and red fish. Red. Oh! Talking about my food. <sighs> oh my god. That's why you don't count your eggs until they're in the basket. Oh my god. That was a nice size one too. <laughs> there goes my redfish tacos. All right, let's keep at it. <laughs> oh yeah that was a hard thump oh yeah he's, oh he's a good donkey get over here you're done you're done you're done no no no, no. keep that head above the water keep it above the water uh, this is how we lost the other one because these guys got no no give in their game over here already dang it dude oh that is a proper donkey right there oh my god what a fight <laughs> yes baby look at that there's another blow up right there they're just happening all over the place again you gotta put it in front of their face otherwise they're not gonna see it Man, this guy is huge. I don't I don't think we're going to keep him. He's got some funny business going on underneath his uh neck. And uh you can you get a, a get out of jail free card. Look at that right there. I don't know what the heck that is, bro. There we are. That's that swimming jack for you. Beautiful, beautiful redfish. Let's see how long he is. My guess was I think like 26 inches, 26 inches somewhere around there. 25 and a half. I am off my game. I have not been guessing right the past few days because uh, I haven't been able to get out into the marsh and have a spectacular day. Not today. So long, my friend. Oh, got him, yeah. And now the chase is on. This guy is dragging me. I'm not gonna power pull down. Ah, mosquito. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a proper donkey too. If I would have kept the other one, this is our limit. Oh wow, oh my gosh. Hold on, fella. This is why I love the action hat. Cause if I had a chesty on, um, I wouldn't be able to get this footage. Get over here. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoo, my gosh, yes. Oh, wow, what a fight. Oh, goodness gracious. This is about a 24, 23, 24 is what I'm gonna say. And here's the booty. We got a red. Oh, that's a nice trout. Good one. Look at this sheep's head. That's gonna be some delicious eating right there. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for our first ever marsh fishing trip out into the skinny water with the Predator PDL. Uh, it was a great day, able to catch a limit of reds for our first time going out there. I do want to get at least two more trips underneath my belt uh, going into the marsh with this thing, mainly because I'm going to have to add a forward-facing rod holder, the ram tube, the same thing that I have on the Outback 19. Uh, I'm going to put one of those on this bad boy to give it a fair shake. So uh, I will be able to push-pull without my rod being in the way. And then I also need to fix the rudder issue that I have. It wants to ride forward, and that was just a nuisance with being able to control the way that I am drifting and uh, push-pulling. 
So all in all, it was a great day out there catching a limit of reds. That's a plus. So let's see how the next trip is gonna go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.